Well, basketball, of all the spectator sports Saskatoon is drawn to, basketball might not be the first one that comes to mind. But a new league is looking to change that. The Canadian Elite Basketball League is starting up teams in Saskatoon, Edmonton, uh, Fraser Valley, and three in Ontario. Its first season starts in May of next year, playing out of the SaskTel Centre. And at the helm of its Western operations is a familiar face. Lee Genier is the founding president of the Saskatchewan Rush lacrosse team, uh, but he did leave the team last year. He now joins us by phone from his current home base in Calgary. Good morning to you, Lee. Good morning. So, How's everyone doing this morning? Uh, we're, we're great, and so curious to know more about this. What makes this city a good place to set up a professional basketball team? Well, uh, one, I'm going to lean on my experience and you know that I brought with the Rush and you know the Rabbit fans uh, across the province that uh, had come out in droves and uh, made that a huge success. So, you know what? Uh, I'm going to take that same kind of energy that I, you know, that I brought to the Rush and, and apply it to, to basketball and uh, make it a great experience. Is there room in this city for another pro sports team? I think so. I mean, when our with our season running from May till August, it actually fills a you know a void or you know one across the country and and uh, in the city as well. So, uh, you know, a lot of people have asked me about okay, are you going to go up against Riders or Lake Country, and you know our games are going to be uh, strategically placed, and we're, we're going to be very mindful uh, about when we put our games. Um, during the week. So, you, you will make oh, sure that they don't conflict with rider games? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, I think that that's the number one rule, right? Is, uh, you know, I spent 20 years in the CFL uh, as well, right? So, um, you know, one of the things is being very strategic in today's world and um, in that market as well. Um, and the product that we're going to bring, uh, the energy, uh, is going to be wholly new as well. So I'm looking forward to it. I know you know we have a great depth of executives across the league, and uh, we have a very committed ownership group, which uh, you know is is really important to the success of this league. How familiar are you with the history of, of basketball here in Saskatoon when it comes to pro sports team? Because I'm learning that um, it's been tried before. Uh, at least two, if not three, uh, teams have had a presence here. And uh, how, how familiar are you with, with the history here? Well, I, w- I wasn't even born the last time uh, a team came through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I've, heard, I've heard all the stories, actually. And I, you know, and I know some of the owners quite well and, uh, you know, that have tried it. And uh, like I say, that was a generation ago. Um, you know, I think we're talking 18 years ago. So basketball, basketball has been, become incredibly popular. One, um, just in the world and in North America, is one of the fastest growing sports. So that, uh, you know, that's one of the, you know, predicating factors of why, um, you know, with our demographic, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be very similar to the energy uh, if you've been to a rush game, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I had a vision when I went to Saskatoon to, you know, 95% of those fans were not lacrosse fans, uh, but they loved an amazing night out. And that's what this is going to be is uh, we're going to have a lot of energy in the building and uh, a lot of new, you know, new things as well that fans love. So, you know, that's that's going to kind of be our, you know, our um, blueprint going going forward across the map. Like like what 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 new things and I'm I'm curious too about how you create that energy. I know at Rush Games music is played pretty much nonstop. So what would people see at a, at a basketball game? Yeah, in our in our league we we will have music. Um, like I say, we're gonna you know it just gives a different dynamic because when, once you put in uh, you know a hard uh, hardwood court in there in and courtside seats, uh, obviously it gives fans. You know the experience to be right, you know, right in the action. Um, but you know, a lot of the same, you know, same energy from the music to a dance team um, to a lot of star power, right? Just um, you know, people have started reaching out already. Um, you know, even in our last two days, I, I've, I've never seen so much energy in a launch. Uh, and I've been in sports for thirty years. So, what, what kind um, of star power do you mean? Do you mean the actual players, or what are you talking about? 
uh, from players wanting to play in the league to our coaches to, um, you know, just uh, athletes in general that have reached out to me. Um, just wanting to, wanted, wanting to come to the game. So, uh, you know, and I've got, you know, great, great friends from uh, Saskatoon that have already already won and you know they put they put them on the list for season tickets so um so it's been a little bit of everything and um you know and like i say this is a year out uh the last time when i came to town i only had 90 days to to you know to make the rush work and um so i'm pretty confident um moving forward and again i love the you know i love the city i love the province and uh and uh what else can I say that, uh, you know, is, you know, being very excited to be there again? Well, I'm sure we're going to talk uh, several times before uh, this officially launches. Lee, thank you for your time today. Hi, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Take care.